Hey everybody, um, I really miss y'all and I hope that y'all are doing really well with all of your lessons. I wanted to make sure that I gave you some ideas about some art you can create at home in case you have some extra time. So just stay tuned and I will give you a little drawing lesson. Doesn't matter what supplies you have at home, just use whatever you have. And even if you have to use paper that has lines on it, it's just a little activity for you to, um, just to be able to keep up with your drawing and to have something fun to do. Hello, I hope you were doing well. I decided that because spring just began, that maybe we should draw some flowers. So I was gonna show you how to draw some unique flowers, one specifically being a daffodil. So I decided that because my drawing is gonna be tall, I have my paper vertical, so make your paper tall. Once again, don't worry about what supplies you have at home. You can draw on lined paper or anything you can find. Um, in fact, a lot of the paper I'm gonna be using to show y'all is actually the back of some other paper that's been printed on, so I'm recycling some paper to make my art. Um, I'm gonna be using a Sharpie to draw with just so that you can see my drawings. Um, but you can definitely draw with a pencil, crayon, whatever you have at home. So I'm gonna start my daffodil by drawing a, um, the center of it. And it's just some uh, wavy lines that kind of make the center of my daffodil. Then I need to draw the stamens. So the stamens, I'm gonna go make two straight lines that are parallel next to each other. And then I'm gonna make an oval at the end of them. And then I'm gonna make my other two straight lines and then make an oval at the end. So the stamen is where the pollen usually is that the bee comes to get. Um, so then right behind this um, shape, that's the center of my daffodil, I'm gonna make a U. So I'm gonna start at the top of my curvy line here and make a big U shape. Then after I make my U shape, I'm gonna come around this shape and add some um, larger petals. So here I'm gonna come up to a point and I'm gonna come back down. Then I'm gonna add another petal here and come back down. And here a petal, come back in, and then a petal and come back in. So that is the basic um, shape of the daffodil. You can also maybe make another petal right here that's behind those two petals. Then we can add our stem. So I'm just gonna make two lines straight down for my stem. And then I can add some daffodil leaves, which are very large and curvy like this. And come out, make my curvy leaves. So maybe I want to draw another flower to join this one in the garden. I'm gonna show you how to draw a simple rose. Um, so I'm just gonna draw a swirl for the center. Then I'm gonna make a large U underneath that, that swirl. Um, then you could make some little marks. That's usually the green part that kind of holds the rose together. Then I'm gonna come down with my stem. Um, make sure it goes behind that leaf. And remember, roses have thorns, so you can add some little thorns to your stem. Maybe you wanna add some leaves, so these leaves kinda of look more like typical leaves that you would see on a plant. Um, so there I have a quick little easy rose, and then right here where you have this space, kinda of just make a curve where that edge of that petal would be. Um, maybe you want to add a quick little daisy flower, which is very simple. You just draw a circle and then you just make simple um, arch-like petals around that circle. So here's my daisy flower. Just going around with these arches. And then just a simple stem coming straight down. on my daffodil. So there I've got some little flowers in my garden. Maybe I can come back in with some little sprigs of grass. 
um, just to add some texture to the bottom. Maybe you want to add some clouds up in the sky, add some details to your picture. So however you want to um, add to this picture, obviously you can color it with whatever you have at home, markers, crayons, if you have some paint. So I had fun making this art with you and I hope that I get to see you soon and I hope that you had fun. Bye.